How's it going guys? Welcome to R&D. Today I want to talk about a pretty unconventional wireless keyboard called the Lofri Dot. You're gonna have to excuse my voice, I am recovering from the flu. Let's get right into it. The keyboard market today is pretty massively dominated by companies like Corsair and Razer. This has had a huge impact on the type of standards that have developed for keyboards, especially mechanical ones. So for those of you who aren't familiar with what a mechanical keyboard is, it's just a keyboard that has an actual physical switch underneath each of the keys to send a signal to your computer when you type something. This sounds pretty intuitive, but the advantage of this is that you're going to get much heavier feedback when you type, meaning that you can hear and feel a significant response from your keyboard when you hit the keys. Mechanical keyboards for this reason are generally perceived to be much more pleasurable to type on and accurate, especially in the gaming industry. Now the dot seriously goes against the grain when it comes to meeting a gamer enthusiast standards, which has resulted in some heavily negative feedback from consumers. But I want to argue for this keyboard. Its versatility, its usefulness, and its aesthetic made the purchase well worth it to me and has made the dot a keyboard that I frequently use. Let's first talk about how it looks. So the model you're looking at right now is identical to any other model you would buy except that I purchased this in Korea. And so there is obviously the addition of Korean letters on the keys. This is also the white edition, but there are a variety of other options as well. The keys are circular, which is super strange, and the entire thing looks a lot like a typewriter, except that it looks relatively minimal and very modern. To me, this is a positive thing. In terms of key layout, you're going to find that it's been designed to be identical to something like the Apple Magic Keyboard. So this thing is going to be pretty easy to pick up and get used to in terms of its functional keys at the top. What you're going to notice is that the directional keys are oddly placed. This is pretty much a deal breaker if you intend to game with this thing, but for writing and web browsing, it was something I got used to surprisingly quick. The reason the keys are skewed this way is to allow for the small footprint of the dot. This thing is 11.5 by 5.5 by 1.2 inches or 296 by 144 by 30 millimeters. This is a tiny keyboard, which is probably one of its best qualities. I love how little space this thing takes up in a bag or on my desk. It allows for so much room for so many other things. For IO, we have a simple micro USB port that you're gonna use to charge this thing, or if you choose to use it in wired mode, which is also possible. There's a switch turning the Bluetooth on and off, and you can pair up to three devices that you can switch between using key combinations, which is awesome, especially if you have a good number of devices. You can pair it to any iOS or Android phones and tablets, so this might be nice for those of you who want to take notes on your tablet. Or if you have an angrily written paragraph to send to a friend and your phone's keyboard just isn't cutting. This second switch allows you to select between Windows slash Android and Mac slash iOS. So like I said before, this thing works fine with most mobile devices and it also supports both major computer OS's, which is something that is hugely lacking with most mechanical keyboards. Most gaming and non-gaming mechanical keyboards do not support iOS. The typing experience on this thing is great. It feels and sounds super satisfying when you hit any of the keys, and it's a shame that this performance is overshadowed by criticism it receives from gamers. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with wanting a gaming keyboard, only that this device clearly wasn't created for gaming, and to see it suffer from so much backlash on values that don't matter to it is frustrating to see. So our verdict seems to be that this is a device you're going to enjoy very much if you're sick and tired of an enormous mechanical keyboard taking up a good portion of your desk, or you've never used a mechanical keyboard before and you want one that doesn't take up too much space. This thing is also going to be great for Mac users who want to try out a new mechanical keyboard that supports their software and want something that they can bring around and use with a lot of devices. On the other hand, if you're a competitive Dota or CSGO player, you probably don't want to pick this thing up. However, for something cool to just work, write, and web browse with, I definitely think this thing is unique. I hope you guys liked this video and thought this keyboard was as interesting as I did. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.